Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Venatura. It looks like Morgan caused some trouble in Barkenwag, but we were able to defeat Morgan. Let's see what the prince has to say about what has transpired. Please leave. Thank you. But please. Aw, poor little doggy got beat up and we saved him and now he's all upset. That's kind of rough. Morgan's not a very nice guy, but we took care of him. That's good. Now we've got to come up here and show Merlin what Morgan's plan was. Although we defeated him, so I'm not sure if really he's gonna be causing us much trouble. I mean, we did beat him up, kill him, whatever. So I'm not sure his plan to take over with using Merlin is going to succeed now. But let's go ahead and go over and talk to Merlin and show her what the memory fly was able to record. Now let's see what Merlin has to say with the memory fly. The world's most persistent naggers. You've come all the way out here to what? Rub it in my face that he too left me? So even the creator's great heroes delight in watching others suffer. Not really, I'm not delighting in it. I'm trying to help you. Or perhaps it's my reputation. Trampling on Safana's greatest sorceress would earn one a semblance of notoriety. Well, man, yeah, you're being a little hard there. We show the memory fly, it shows the scene. You relive Morgan's savagery against the residents of Barkenwag, ending with his eventual defeat. I see, I... I'm sorry, Arthur. Look how far your mother has fallen. What good do these powerful magics do? What purpose does my knowledge serve if I was still too weak to save you? If I fell victim to... to something like that? I love them, Arthur. Loved every living thing dearly, and still... But it was not lust that overcame me, not desire, but a familiarity that resembled my sons, a closeness, a bond that only a mother would know. I wanted to keep it close and never let it go. I wanted to hold it tight, relive those Hakleisen days, but he's gone. Wow, that took a sad turn. That's a little... Unfortunate. Listen well, chosen few. These artifacts anchor Venatura's vast power in place and always have. But this time is unlike all others. The tower's magic steadily grow and left as is will eventually break free of its shackles. Suvana's divide will blesses several power artifacts with the task of becoming an anchor each time that dreaded tower appears in our world. It's uncertain where or what each of them is, but this time that duty fell to my holy grail. Go on, take it. I won't hold it against you, but it's the only gift you'll get, so don't expect overcompensation for getting rid of that villain. Okay, that's cool. That's definitely a good thing. Can I get in there? I really want to get in there. I'm really obsessed with getting in there. Accompany you? Who? Me? Thank you for the offer. I'd love to. But much like Venatura, I've an anchor of my own, Little Britain. You think I obtained this vast knowledge and incredible dark magics through study? Ha ha ha. Who knew you heroes were the comedic type? No. While here, my powers are at their peak. But if I were to leave, well, who knows? Our dearly departed Morgan may have even passed a more qualified magician. 
if you all agree to it, I may be able to assist you in reaching your next destination, but only if you agree. You must accept this offer for this magic to work. Teleportation is a finicky thing. I feel an incredible darkness to the south. More than likely another Zadagon's goons. They talked about Zadagon's six purveyors of doom. We've defeated one, so I guess we've got five more to go. And since you're the heroes, head downstairs. That door's unlocked. If you hadn't noticed in your distasteful rummaging of my cottage, if all of you can agree to making decent progress in this quest, the altar below will assist you in reaching your destination. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Sweet. We got downstairs. I don't, uh, yeah. I don't know how well it's going to help, but <laughs> I finally got downstairs. I don't know where we are. We just got sent off somewhere to the south. Is it empty? I figured it was going to be empty. A bottled soul. That's good. That's always helpful to be able to revive one of my comrades. Who is this guy and what is he? Okay, that's sealed. Let's talk to him and see what he has. You waste no time, heroes. Welcome to the land of hearty laughs, potent ale, and the most weather-beaten characters Sufana has to offer. But you're always a little late to the party. Land hoes soon to be engulfed by the very seas that provided its people with sustenance for generations. The culprit? A skillful magician who met an untimely end. Consumed by their love of the ocean's dark depths. Is that all you have for me? You have anything else? Lost time cannot be reclaimed. Fate's cruel hand snatched a prodigious youth's life of notoriety and meticulously crafted the perfect vessel of raw desperation to enact the ultimate sin. Suvana pleads for salvation, but the absence of its overseer begs the question of how much of this senseless chaos could truly have been prevented. I will, really, really want, I really want in that door. When I get faced with a locked door, I really have to go through it. Wow, where am I? Okay, it looks like land ho and we just got overran by water like the city was here but it got washed away curse that sea witch first she sinks our ships and now she's probably gotten her hands on poor old cupcake too probably some spell of hers to get back at us for stealing the black pearl from right under her nose. So the black pearl probably is going to have something to do with this. No legs, Neil? <laughs> what kind of name is that? Never seen a man with no legs before, mate. Gawking like that's liable to get your throat slit around these parts. That's for certain. No time for that nonsense right now. Though got us a mutt to find. See her around? Little thing she is. About two apples high. Tongues longer than her blasted body and always hanging out. Hates people. Tiny she may be. But let me assure you she's not lacking personality by any means. So there seems to be a lost puppy as well. Blimey. Where'd you landlubbers come and crawl out of just then? Never once seen that hole there before. Digging for some treasures, are we? Or burying your own? You'd take care not to let another see you do that, lest you want it in their hands instead of yours. Come here. I want to talk to you. Haven't seen a little mutt round here, have ye? Ran off with a proper purpose in mind, she did. 
So we definitely have a dog to find, it looks like. I'm curious if there's anything in these bones. Because sometimes there has been. I do see a treasure chest hidden back there behind that. I get, I don't know, tree? Not really a tree, like um, a rock formation or something. I'm not sure what that was. It was probably like a refill my magic. Like, was it a magic potion? I think there was two magic potions there. I think that's what it was. Wow. Take extreme caution if exploring shivered timbers. Potentially hazardous objects have been seen in the area. Yeah, I'm gonna say that that city just got wiped off the map there is what it looks like. That's what I'm thinking anyways. With all those rocks over there and the beach, it probably just washed it away. But we are somewhere else on the map, that's for sure. We got a little hut up there we could investigate. Oh, there's a ship off there too. Oh, wow. All kinds of interesting things. That witch on a snail is amazing. Pirate with the sword. Definitely good things here. I'm gonna go all out here and see if I can do some damage here because I want to try to get something killed. Let's do fire damage. Oh, let's try that Sirocco. It's expensive, but he has a little bit of magic we could do. What does he have? He still doesn't have, he does have animal killer. So we might use that in the next one to take away the parrot or the dancer. I'm assuming would both be animals. Pecks at their target. That's not good. Oh, a morale boost. That's not good. Them gaining agility would make them go sooner. Oh, witch. Okay, she went down pretty cool. That's great. That Sirocco seems to be very powerful. Wow, that was nice. See that little boat off in the distance and I'm curious. Hey, if the door opens, go in. Magic tonic. What's in the basement? Love searching bookshelves. I never know what I'm gonna find. A diary, okay. Harold returned with a peculiar fellow this morning. Captain says he's to be my instructor. They're paying him good coin to insist in my learning of the dark arts. I'm overjoyed with their continued interest in and support of my love for magic. But this man, he's different. There's something strange about him. Something I can't quite put my finger on. Zadir's not evil or bad, but I can almost sense an incredible and bottomless sadness within him. My main concern is whether or not it was born from his pursuit of knowledge or something else entirely. Each time I gaze upon the infamous Black Pearl's wreckage, unrefined excitement wells within me it spreads from my stomach all the way out to the tips of my fingers and toes i feel like i've met the creator himself it's such a captivating sight to think a majestic and obviously magical behemoth like that could ever succumb to anything is absolutely mind-boggling my thoughts race with immeasurable possibilities and endless questions who could create such a masterpiece? Magicians or simple shipwrights? Perhaps both work together. Who was its captain? Its crew? What wonders did they discover? Someday I'll know. I'll create a vessel just like it. Then I'll be its captains. And the missing limbs will work for me. I just hope they're not too old by then. Hmm, interesting. I'm intrigued looks like we might have another end down here 
It kind of feels like an inn, but maybe not. Strong herb. I'm curious what strong herb would be. Diary. Another diary. We went on a great adventure to another land the other day. I met a wonderful sorceress named Merlin and her son Arthur. Both fantastic individuals. I have learned so much. I never thought the captain would let me travel that far until I was much older and experienced. But she said it was best to start early because I'd more often than not be on the seas living here. I hate to say things like this, being so young and all, but I can't wait to travel to as many lands and learn as many magics as possible. Merlin helped me to understand and truly appreciate my gift. Magic isn't something just anyone can grasp, but to me it comes so naturally. The spell books read like a child's bedtime story, and the signs and symbols flow as freely from the tip of my pen as those I write on this page. That's very interesting. It looks like we have came across the diary of the lady that Merlin was talking about and her son. Her son met Arthur, met a someone of magic and a girl and she left him. That sounds like who we've met. We did grab a couple items there. We're going to have to check out here in a little bit. Where did I come up at? Oh, way down there. I was like, where am I? I bet we're going to have another diary to read. Calming powder. That will probably be useful. Magic potion. Yes. I bet a calming powder reduces rage. I decided on a name. Cupcake. Sweet, delicious, and perfectly portioned, just like her. Her fluffy white fur reminds me of my favorite vanilla icing. The others wanted something a more blood curdling, to say the least, but she's not vicious enough to warrant a name like Daggermouth or Snow Fiend. I'm not even sure if Harold actually liked those names or if he was joking. He's always so hard to read. Neil came back with the dog today, of all things. Said it was for me. I honestly didn't know what to do with her, but she was so small and weak and sad. I never thought I'd be able to take care of an animal like her, or if they'd even let me if I'd even consider asking. But they did. Even the captain didn't object. Said it teach me responsibility but I think she has a soft spot for animals just like Neil. Captain's always so cold and stern, but she always acts with the best of intentions. She's always thinking, and that's not necessarily always a good thing. Let's see what's in these pots. Wait, nothing you wish you... And see things you wish you hadn't? What in the world would that be? Arm a member, Minder. I saw a few different things like that. Sea stone choker. Some of these things are hard to spit out. Captain Sasha shared her room with Beatrice. She had a real strong connection going on with the lass. Don't think she moved a single one of the girl's belongings since she disappeared. Captain put on a strong face but we always know she's been acting real different lately. Interesting. Let's keep on poking our nose around here and see what else we can find out. I kind of would like to search around a little bit more and maybe come back to talk to people. Just there's a treasure chest. I'm just kind of looking around and seeing what we've got here right now. A raider's ring? What does that do? Eight to attack, five to agility? 
Eight to attack five. Yeah, definitely, definitely better there. Hey, let's see. We got three paddle witches. The enemies are caught off guard. Let's go through these and see how hard these are. I'm curious how much life they have. I mean, there's 32. There she goes. She definitely had a lot of health, around 50 or just under 50, because that's what I did in that last hit. Yeah, so it looks like they probably have 50 health. And I was took those out pretty easily, I believe. What abilities does Ray have? I don't know. I feel that she has so much magic points, but I really don't do much with her magic. I'm a little worried. I'm not going to just jump on a, a magic teleporting square quite yet. Don't think that would be a good idea. It does look like we're not far of where we used to be. Like just off to the west, I think from the main island where we were is what I'm feeling. Yeah, I don't think these prairie dancers are too difficult. A prairie feather was found. Dirty fighting. Oh, I love it. Now, can I get back up and around? Yeah, Bark and Wag, I think, was just off to the east right there. What is this little hut? Interesting. I am intrigued and kind of terrified at the same time. Can I go around? Is there like another screen? Okay. I was wondering if there was another screen there or something. To see if... Yeah, I couldn't see an entrance right away. Oh, falling icicles. Those are could be deadly. I think we're going to pick up in here at some point. Magic tonic. Kind of maybe snoop around. Oh, I didn't mean to walk out. No. Snoop around a little bit and see what we can find. I don't know these things might be locked. Yeah. I kind of want to go around to that other one to make sure that other one is going to have some walked out again. Got to be really careful about that. Ah, uh, no, nope, no, nope, I guess I'm not. Nah, nah. It does look like some ruined city here. Paddle Witch. I'm kind of sad that I go last because I get so much damage there. I do like at least 50 points of damage, it looks like. I just kind of sad that I'm not able to use that a lot because I'm the last one. More slimes. Interesting. So we got slimes and witches in this area. I would love to find new items or another place to buy stuff. I have so much money, I'm sure of it. Learned recovery, waltz, flying killer. Both of those sound good. What is dirty fighting? Oh, me afflict surrounded. That's great. That's one thing that I had a lot of trouble with with some of the other enemies. Can I not switch? It doesn't look like I can go to the other abilities or switch between the people's abilities like I can with the equipment. HP, that's what I expected with that. And then fly something that's effective against flying. Yeah, that's what I expected it to be. I'm gonna poke in everything right now, but I would like to and see what I can find. Oh, that skeleton is pretty cool. Let's see what he can do. I like how it says Yar right above his name. That's pretty funny in the sprite. 
but that skeleton didn't do a whole lot of much of anything really we got a couple of doors we can go down in a basement I'm a little worried I think it would probably be oh I can't wait can't, I can't go back up that's not good divine do sages circlet Ooh, a cursed booty so the money is cursed that's hysterical I'm gonna try dirty fighting here and see what it does in this Sirocco let's just go with all the oh no I know what that does Let's do Enrage. Let's just have some fun and use some of the things here. Nothing was affected. Oh, Cursed Booty. Both of those that came in. Enraged. That's nice. I wondered what the Enrage does. A lot of times, like, Confusion or Rage has them randomly talk randomly attack somebody and it could be their own people but i i see rage is that they're overcome with rage and they don't know who they're attacking in that instance the rng was against me because i got attacked both times i'm assuming that's how it works but i'm not sure about that it's actually a trapped box that's not good oh ah uh, mimic there we go we're gonna go i don't really want to do dirty fighting again that's gonna be all my magic i don't think we really had a lot of trouble here let's go ahead and do this one more time that magic is so expensive we're getting there now that i have some of those other ones I don't know about the mimic, but the other things didn't seem to be a very strong. Ah, see, he keeps on still attacking me. I don't know if it lowers his chance to hit me, like lowers his accuracy or something. I lost 14 health there. Wow. I'm just curious what that rage does, what the status effect rage does. A pirate king pirate king's key that's gonna be useful I'm sure ha oh, man I get back up on the oh no that's not good so we're gonna let her do her magic dance hopefully she'll do that before that we so she can live a little bit I didn't realize that she was so low on health which is good because we were able to not have her die walking across that poison right there. Ah, uh, dense fog again. I do know how to get around that though. Magic can get through the fog. I'm not gonna be able to do, but he can do lightning maybe. She can do the Gus Samba. And then I don't think is he affected? No, he's fine. So let's have him attack. Spits fools gold at me. That's hilarious. Oh no, I, she died. That's not good. We can heal her. That's cool. We definitely have what we need. Oh wow. This is going worse than what I expected. Pulverize. Well. I'm not sure. Let's do that against the cursed booty. Toxic touch. And then just try that, I guess. Hopefully that's going to work out for us. There it goes. We just had to get somebody killed. Oh, now I'm confused. Great. Oh, wow. I couldn't tell friend from foe. That's not good. I'm in a little bit of a please let him die here oh there we go Woo! that was getting a little worrisome there that was definitely a tough one 
items. We got a bunch of bottled souls here, so let's go ahead and revive her. We got a few healing herbs. She's definitely gonna need it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I'm not down that far, but there we go. That's definitely a good place to stop. We got a lot to explore, not only in here, but the rest of this side of the world. And we'll do that in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.